Hey everyone, welcome to Morality, your channel for all React Native content. Today we're going to be talking about the use effect hook. So if you're unfamiliar with it, the use effect hook basically tells your React component that it needs to do something after render. So what that means is when your screen renders, for example, you can see I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro Max simulator. Uh, we're running Expo right now. And you can see I rendered this screen essentially uh, called App. And in the screen, we render the following text, use state hook with React Native. So when we render that, we can use the use effect hook to do something uh, once this component is rendered. So let's go ahead and have it do something. Let's go ahead state, create a state variable called count. Go ahead, set its default value to zero. And then similar to the use state hook video, our previous video that we put out, um, say you're keeping the count of something Last time we kept the count of bees. Um, in this case, we could be keeping the count of anything. So what we'll do is go ahead and create a text component that will say uh, count is equal to count. Go ahead, give it the same style that we're using here. And let's go ahead and create two buttons um, holding um, pressing control shift to go ahead and auto import it like this uh, you can see it's been imported up here now so as you state so we'll go ahead give the button a title we'll say implement again and then we'll say on press that's an arrow function. Here we're gonna set the count, give it its previous state. We'll add one. Go ahead and do the same thing to give it another button. In this case, we're gonna decrement. We'll just subtract by one here. So here we can see our buttons. So this should go ahead and update for us, and it does. Okay, so that's working. Now let's go ahead and create another state variable. We're gonna call it message. The initial value for this is just going to be an empty string. We'll go ahead and place that message right here so now you can't see it but it's right here there's nothing being displayed because it's empty now what we can do is we're gonna use effect And we're going to set message depending on the value of count. So we'll say if count is equal to zero, then we'll say set message to count is zero. We'll say else set message count is not zero. Go ahead, press uh, Command S to save. You'll see it throws on the semicolons on the ends. I'm using the pretty extension for that 
Um, if you guys are interested in learning how to set that up, let me know. I'll make another video on that. So now we could see that count is zero. And now we have the message right under saying count is zero. So now when we increment, we should get count is not zero. Okay, good. And we get count is not zero. Go back to count equal to zero. This should say count is zero. And it does. So off the top, it looks like use effect works perfectly fine like this. But if we throw in a console.log message here and we say count equals let's see what we get so count is equal to zero and we see that down here in the terminal um, by the way you could press command J to show or hide the terminal so if you don't see yours try pressing command J and see if it comes up um, let's go ahead and increment now we see count equals one and notice something right here it says count equals one count equals one so even though we incremented one time we got two console.log messages coming out now let's go ahead and keep increasing now we're getting single values now let's go back down look we got double values again count equals zero and count equals zero again count equals negative one count equals negative one so what's happening is that this is running two times for certain values. That's not good for performance. So what we can do is we can add a second argument to this use effect function, use effect hook. Um, we can add an empty array. So this is called the dependencies array for the use effect hook. So what this means is that if we have an empty dependency array then what's going to happen is this use effect the function inside the use effect will only run one time and that will be right after render so if we refresh this go down to the terminal and press r it'll reload the app so now we can see count is set back to zero because that's its initial value and we have count is zero so it went through the use effect, saw that count was equal to zero, set the message to count as zero, and then displayed the message for us. Now if we change this and we increment or decrement, it not, the message is not going to change. So now we can see that count is equal to zero, so we get count is zero. Now when we increment, the message will not be updated again because since the dependency array is empty, the use effect was only ran one time and see now we can see count is equal to one and it still says count is zero we could change it to any value it's not going to change again so if you have an empty dependency array as your second argument to the use effect hook it will only render one time and that's after the first render so now if we add count our state variable to the dependency array, what will happen is every time the value of count is changed, this function, also known as an effect, will be ran again. So what we can do is save it. Let's reload this. So now we can see count is zero, which that's good. Now if we increment, count is not zero. Good. And we can keep going. And notice too, down in the console, we can see that count is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if we go back down, we're not getting any double values like we were before. So, that concludes for the use effect hook. There will be a, another tutorial on this use effect hook. 
with a little bit more advanced um, examples. Uh, we'll be fetching data from Reddit using the fetch uh, function. And we're going to use that in a use effect. And I'm going to show you how to pull that data from Reddit. And we're going to set those uh, to post state variable. And we'll see that the we're going to need to have state variables in here as in our dependency array. Um, but this time I wanted to keep it simple just to show you guys how to use this hook. The differences between having uh, no dependency array here or having an empty dependency array or actually having a variable in that dependency array and showing you the differences um, and how that could affect your performance. In general, you want to have um, typically a state variable in your dependency array. There are certain cases where you don't need it and maybe you just want to render something one time or run an effect one time when the screen renders or the component renders. Um, if you're familiar with uh, classes, uh, the use effect hook um, is basically the component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount uh, lifecycle functions all combined into one. Um, as another note, you always want to use this use effect hook inside of the component, not outside, so it has access to the state variables and props. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Um, if you have any other comments or things you'd like to see, uh, please leave that down below in the comments. Uh, tomorrow will be another hook. Um, we're going to go through all of the hooks and then we're going to maybe do some more advanced examples um, and then start piecing them together and showing you how these hooks are used um, in actual mobile applications. Um, so please stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. If there's any other things you'd like to see, please uh, leave it down in the comments. Uh, thank you and have a good day.